24 kilogram division. Next up, Scotland's Robbie McKechnie takes on Canada's Thomas Blumenfeld. Your commentators for this bout are still Richie Woodall and Ronald McIntosh. Come on. No low blow, no hole, head up. Good luck. We're in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division, and this contest is between boxers from Canada and Scotland. The South Fork, wearing red, is Thomas Blumenfeld, part of a seven-strong Canadian boxing team, three men, four women make up their number, 20 years of age, competing in his first Commonwealth Games, and his opponent is Robbie McKechnie from Scotland, 23 years old, is the man from Greenock. This is Commonwealth Games debut, as it is for Blumenfeld. It's day four of the Commonwealth Games boxing tournament. Both of these men received a bye in the first preliminary round. So it's their opening contest here at the second preliminary round. And no doubt they will have been, they will have been itching to get in the ring and showcase their skills. Yes, can be a problem when you're waiting uh, to box. Training, keeping your weight down. And all you want to get in all you want to do is get into the ring. Now they have their chance. That's a nice attack there from McKechnie. Orthodox versus Southpaw situation here. So very often it can be who leads off first, who's going to come back with counters. Both are fairly fast and explosive. McKechnie here. I'm impressed with his combination work, throws threes and fours. And he's actually acting as the counter puncher, sitting back, waiting for Blumenfeld to lead off and then he's coming back with some fast counters and some combination work so it's not bad for McKechnie. Both men have had success with straight shots to the body that's a cracking right hand at mid-range from McKechnie. Two fast twitch fighters. In the mix in the light welterweight division here. Back-to-back -back Scottish national titles in 2017 and 2016. Both at 64 kilograms. Not the reigning champion because Scotland have already had their national championships last month for the 2018 edition. Of course, he was getting ready for this, his Commonwealth Games debut. See, there's an example there. You can't afford to hesitate um, and all fall short with your work against a fighter like Blumenfeld. Ketchdy there, he just hesitated, came forward, missed the target, fell short with the shot, and then he gets a fast counter. Good right-hand lead from McKechnie out of that orthodox stance, and these two men 
really are rapid with their punch picking. Look at that for backhand success from both men. Now that's a slip as the legs got tangled up. Concentration incredibly high because one mistake is likely to be counted in a flash by the opponent. Good round of boxing from both of them here. They started very quick. Ketchney, lovely combination work on the inside. Bloomfeld probably worked a little bit better with his jab, but occasionally made mistakes. Come forward there, that was a lovely body shot there from McKechnie. And there's that left hook also on the inside, that wasn't too bad from the Scotsman. So a fairly even round. to the second round then. Thomas Blumenfeld, man from Quebec, whose interest in boxing was sparked. Found a pair of his dad's old boxing gloves as an eight-year-old. Opted to fight as a Canadian despite being or having the option to represent the States. He's lived in various places. He said he chose to represent Canada because he feels comfortable with the coaching setup treatment he receives up there. He's trained in New York, trained in Boston as recently as 2015 alongside Hector Bermudez who is still listed as one of his coaches. He guided Javier Fortuna, Dominica to the WBA flyweight title in the throw rank. So he's got good coaching around him. You can see that he's an accomplished, skillful boxer but he's meeting his equal in that regard seemingly in Robbie McKechnie, the man who was his club's first senior Scottish champion when he took his first Scottish title in 2016. McKessney probably needs to be a touch busier, Ronald. Um, Blumenfeld is working well with his jab and he's looking the busier boxer. McKessney, I think, is the more dangerous. I think his combination work, the right hand left hook especially, is dangerous. If you watch him, he throws this right hook to the body and then finishes on the left hook to the head. I actually think he should be concentrating more on that combination, especially with the left hook. You see, Blumenfeld comes over his front foot occasionally, a little bit too much. And that's when McKechnie's got to come back with that type of work. Out there's the right hand, now he needs to double it up with the left hook. But he's got to be busier, McKechnie. Beautiful counter shot by Blumenfeld. Oh, and then a cracking southpaw left on the resumption. Good left hook from McKechnie on the inside. Both men having success with pot shots. Again, McKechnie touched down for the second time in the contest. I'm sure the legs did tangle, but he was walked onto a shot just prior to the touchdown. There's that left hook again from McKechnie. Great shot. What he probably needs to do a little bit more of there, Ron. He's probably the odd faint here and there to draw the lead from Blumenfeld and then come back with the counter. Rather than waiting, he needs to probably faint and trigger his opponent off and then come back with those fast counters. Because McKechnie is dangerous. Fast hands, fast right hand left hook. Trying to lead left uppercut there, McKechnie wasn't too far away. Blumenfeld opting to go on the back foot here. Circling away from the right hand, terrific right hand lead from McKechnie and then a nudging left uppercut on the inside. Right hand to the body wasn't too far away from McKechnie, who's skipping back to his work after landing that shot. Then a right hand straight down the pipe. Blumenfeld with a nudging left hook right on the bell. So another action packed round. Blumenfeld there landed well with his hook. McKechnie coming forward. But I think this Scottish boxer is dangerous on the inside, especially with that right-hand-left-hook combination. Gonna throw a little bit more of them. 
Inspiration was the order of the day over in that blue corner as we go into this third and final round of what has been a terrific 64 kilogram light welterweight contest to this point. High skill between the Canadian Southport, Thomas Blumenfeld, and Robbie McKechnie. Good reverse one two from McKechnie, the left hand landing. See how quick they are both with their fists and their feet and their movement as well to really work for the successes. Good left hand to the body from Blumenfeld. Occasionally Blumenfeld just makes the odd mistake when he throws that left hand, his rear leg comes round, he comes a little bit square, just occasionally, and that's when mckechnie has got to watch out for that. McKechnie worked better on the inside, but he's got to create a little bit of space. Started his attack there a little bit too far away. Blumenfeld comes back with his own counter. But it's a close one, Ron. Each round has been pretty close. Very competitive. Blumenfeld having success with the left uppercut to the body here in this third round. Minute gone. And a good right jab landed by the man in red. Southpaw left wasn't too far away from Blumenfeld. Getting to work with the right jab. And there's a left uppercut in evidence right to the solar plexus once again. Again, Blumenfeld just being a touch busier with his jab. He's just dictating the pace a little bit better now, is, is the Canadian. Now, Blue McKechnie is saying that that's a low blow again, but from my vantage point, these shots that are being ripped into the body are fair. Good lead left hand from Blumenfeld. And you can see how that final one, the one that brought the response from McKechnie, doubled him over. He just slowed down a little bit as McKechnie, and that's just allowed Blumenfeld just to catch him with some good shots. And the combination yeah, has put go. the man on the canvas. He's saying that it's not a knockdown, but the referee issuing the mandatory eight count. Now, again, we should point out this will not necessarily result in a 10-8 round as it does in professional boxing, in non aiba boxing. Good left hand to the body from McKechnie on the resumption. But it's just illustrative of the fact that it's Blumenfeld who has made the better start to this third and final round in a contest that was very much in the balance after a skillful six minutes across the first two rounds from both men. Yeah, both boxers needed to win that last round, this last round rather, and Blumenfeld is doing that, he's boxing better. McKechnie has just slowed down a little bit and that's allowed Blumenfeld to land the better shots. He's landing some terrific shots. There's good work to the body once again from Blumenfeld, who's trying to go through the gears here. His left hand cross, his left cross out of that southpaw stance and then a right jab moving to his right. He's a beautiful punch as well, as is the backhand once again. A terrific third and final round from Thomas Blumenfeld could well be decisive in determining the outcome of this contest. Mike Keane sportingly removing the mouthpiece from the Canadian boxer. But that was a terrific bout. And we heard the inspirational address from the Scottish corner to McKechnie as he emerged for round three. But it was Blumenfeld who had the better round in that third and final stanza. It was close, wasn't it, up until that last round. And Blumenfeld, I think, boxed much better in the, the final round and has actually won it and sealed it there with that knockdown. Close one though up to that point. Terrific contest. The winner will be going through to the quarter-finals to face the Zambian Nkumbo Silungwe. Let's get the official verdict. And it's Blumenfeld. 20-year-old Thomas Blumenfeld, a unanimous points decision winner over Scotland's Robbie McKechnie. And he's done it 30-26 for two of the judges, Trinidad and Tobago, having it by a two-round margin, but a, a terrifically competitive contest. And it's Blumenfeld who eliminates Scotland's Robbie McKechnie, the two-time Scottish national champion.
put out in his first contest in the second preliminary round of the 64 kilogram light welterweight tournament is Thomas Blumenfeld, who goes on to the final eight. Yeah, he needed a good last round and he got it. Although I thought it, it was a little bit closer on the judges' scorecards than what they had it, but there you go. Competitive contest indeed. But Blumenfeld showed his quality in that last round and, and, and landed the better shots, did the better work and just seals the victory there with that knockdown. But he's a good kid, McKechnie, I like him.